boxing by really nice NL RC is what I've settled on calling my channel. Dutch, of course, that's Heo Moy, my original name. Today I'm unboxing a package from my good friend on Ultimate RC Utrecht. Uh, it's quite nicely packaged. It's probably going to take a while. Let me just use this up. I like the use of duct tape. That's very, very pro. Oh, I can see what this came in in his RR10 bomber box, his recently acquired new RC. Wow, that's kind of nice to... Look at that. So that's not what's in here. Still, it's a nice truck. If I were to get another crawler, this would probably be the one. Rite. Wow, this this thing has been on my mind for so long to buy. This was almost my second RC, but I just ended up getting a Mad Force instead. But now, finally, it shall be in my possession. Ooh. All right. I can smell some WD-40. So if someone comes in doing good after a run making something. Okay, let's see. A body. Wow. That is a beauty. That is really something that uh, yeah is gonna last me a long time. Very, thank you very much. That's very nice. I like I like the custom piece here. The uh, very professional. Uh, it takes a long time to make something like this, so thanks a lot for going through that. Uh... Ooh, it actually, yeah, actually, it has the Stampede 4x4 stickers on there. That's quite nice. Yeah, I'm gonna have to run that just for um, just for coolness sake. Right, just... Also, like the reuse of um, the padding, very nice. Okay. Let's have a look at the actual truck. Ooh, I can even use it. There we go. Alright, so not everyone here is gonna <laughs> recognize this. But this is a Stampede 4x4. I have only seen these in real life a couple of times. I've seen people just walk around with them, but that's all. I've never actually seen one up close. Of course, I've seen thousands of pictures. This little looks good, actually. Just the chest like this looks smaller. So, he has the, the Techno drive shafts in there. It's very nice. The 17 millimeter uh, hexes, which is also nice because I have the Interco Swampers that will just mount right on there because I have them on the the F11 17mm rims. Okay, you can see he lowered the body mounts. Oh, I didn't know it had uh, are these the Proline stroke? The Proline Power Strokes or, or what is this? I think so, yeah. Yeah, these are the, wow, I didn't know it had pro power strokes. Those are nice shocks. And it has sway bars? I don't think. I've never seen, no, the sway bars were mounted like that. I'm probably going to go back to the old body post, actually, because I really like the monster truck look of the Stampede. And he has the full T-Bone Racing, well, yeah. <laughs> I remember he actually broke off the bumper. So yeah, that's still broken. So I still have to get a new one of those. But it still has a skid plate. It has the one in the rear. So that's nice. And a bonus actually is that it comes with electronics. I did not know that it did. I thought I was buying a roller. I also like the, the Velcro straps. That's nice. Uh, so that's the SC8 120 amp hobby wing you see. It's, it's 
kind of custom mounting that he did, but this, yeah, it's sturdy enough. I was thinking of moving this, but I don't think I will actually. I'll just leave it there. Who cares? Let's, uh, I think he, that's a, just a normal 540 can, or maybe a little bit bigger. Alright, it was pretty high on the KV, around 4,000. Ooh, and it has a nice Savox servo in there. SC1258 TG, yeah, that's probably what I would put in there as well. It's plenty fast, torque is anything. Ah, okay, let's mount the body. So thanks a lot, U-Track, for providing the truck. It is a very nice truck, and I will enjoy it a lot. And there will be evidence in videos. Um, and uh, in general, thanks for your contributions to the forum. They are much appreciated. Uh, they are very good as well. All right. So there we go. Ready to run. <laughs> This is the way the tractor should sell it, actually. Tracks the stampede, ready to run. Rugged custom body. It's kind of like post, post zombie apocalypse body style or something like that. Here, this is completely obliterated as well. Traxxas low slung stampede. Yeah, they should actually just sell it as the Traxxas low slung stampede and just completely ignore the fact that the body is totally ruined. You're gonna see all the rants on the forums about it. But the body is ruined. It's so shit. Yeah, it doesn't matter even if they would sell this for like a hundred bucks. People are like, that's so shit. I don't want that body. Custom Danish dirt on there. We all love. I usually brush it off with a toothbrush into a uh, small container, and none of it, you know, is lost. So just cherish it. Just add to my, you know, sand and dust collection, which currently I only have Dutch and uh, Danish. Um, but you know that's those are the, the those are the main kinds of sands sand that you want really so you know I'm not complaining. Oh, it has the nice uh, the wheel nuts with the uh, the ribs on there. Those are great. I love those. I think they're hot bodies or HPI. I use them on a, a lot of my rigs as well. I suppose this is my rig now. Can't believe I actually have a Stampede four by four. Stampede -ru. Stampede -ru. Traxxas connector, that's coming off because I'm still rocking the Deans. Uh, as long as you get the originals, they're pretty good actually. Alright. That's all from I keep forgetting what I'm gonna call my channel. I was gonna I settled on really nice NLRC. And this is in fact a channel. Yeah, it has more videos. So if you like this one, you could go click around. Yeah. I don't think that's supposed to sound as angry as it did. This is actually a part of a channel. Yeah. This is this video is part of a channel. And you can click around on the channel to see other videos not unlike this one but not completely like this one. They're a bit different. Uh, and you may enjoy them. You may not as well. Some, some, some aren't that good, no.